Welcome back to the YouTube. So it's the weekend. Uh, you can tell where we are right now. Haven't been here in a long time. We're at Paddle Club for a push session. So we're going to do push. The video itself is going to be a day in the life um, in general. So we're going to take you around on what I'm doing today, food, etc. Um, but now we're going to get a quick coffee in quite early. Um, so yeah, we're going to get a push session done, take you through that. Let's get into it. All right, back with the voiceovers. So gonna run you through a few things on this sort of workout segment, um, talking through my training, etc. of course, but also starting off just talking around the bulk and how it's gone and, and how this off season has played out. Now, it's played out very well indeed. Um, everything has gone, you know, completely to plan. So um, this is actually the first time I've ever pushed a bulk on off season to to this to this level so i've reached 96 kilograms which is 20 kilograms heavier than when i started so i, I entered this this bulk around 76 when i've just been holding my physique for for a number of months um and so yeah seen a good increase of 20 kilos uh, so it felt good uh, you know to, throughout the experience it was a uh, it was very difficult uh, i'll be honest now there were a lot of challenges to it you know carrying a lot more body fat, carrying a lot more weight in general, it does do a lot to you. Um, but I did feel good um, for, for the majority and I gained an absolute ton of experience and a ton of value from um, from going through something like this as well. Because um, I have bulked in the past, but never to this level. So I've then been able to apport a lot of my knowledge um, onto my clients um, and just take a lot on for, you know, for, for future endeavors as well. So um, it was great. Condition has held quite well as well, uh, which is good to see. So abs remained visible throughout the entire bulk. So that's fantastic. Um, and now we're going to be entering the pre-prep phase, which is going to be four weeks uh, of a bit of a health phase where food is going to be lowered, going to wash off fluids and inflammation before then heading into prep. And honestly, I'm looking forward to it. I cannot wait to start eating a little bit less food um, and enjoying summer with a little less body fat in the, in the heat that's going to be coming. So looking forward to prep. Just a quick note here on the training. As you can see, it's not the usual gym that I'm at, that I usually train at. So a few of the lifts have had a bit of a decline simply because I'm not used to the kit. The kit's loaded in different ways. You know, the weight can be loaded a little bit higher instead of a bit lower. Um, you know, the, the angle of the Smith incline uh, is a little bit different. So it's just a little note, something to remember that if you do train out of a different gym, don't be absolutely chained to your logbook. Don't get too upset if you're not lifting um, to the same level that you would be in your usual gym. You know, things change, not only the equipment, um, but also the environment, the people there, everything going on, the music, it does all play a role in your performance, but still go in there uh, and do your best to absolutely smash the session. That's always my approach anyway, but making sure that you don't get too obsessed with the numbers that you've been lifting um, for the, the weeks prior. So how's my current training looking like? So my current split is a push pull legs, of course. If we're starting from the Monday, we start with push Monday, pull on Tuesday. I then have a rest day on Wednesday, and then I'm back in to push on Thursday, pull on the Friday, and then I rest on the Saturday, and then I hit legs on Sunday, which sometimes can leave me quite fatigued for the Monday, but I've managed to find a good balance uh, and it works very nicely for me, giving me enough rest in between the two upper body, sessions uh, and allowing me to be recovered and refreshed enough to you know hit push again after that rest day so a big emphasis has also been my arms you know immense physique when you do hit that hands on the hip pose you know everything does look fairly good but if you've got small arms they do tend to stand out simply because of the angle that you're going to be carrying them at so arms have been had, had a huge amount of volume hitting them every single um, day in terms of my push and pull days um, and i've actually thrown some arms on at the end of my leg days on some weeks every other week i'll be hitting a bicep and a tricep exercise at the end of legs to make sure i'm bringing them up enough so that's going to wrap up that voiceover hope you enjoyed it um, and now on to the rest of the video we went for some breakfast and i had some post-workout pancakes with eggs as well which are very nice 
Okay, we've just pulled up to Sublim Beach. Is it even Sublim Beach or is it just Sublim? Anyway, uh, a nice sort of like pool beach club thing. Um, so yeah, we're gonna spend the day here. Um, it's kind of new, opened recently, so uh, keen to check it out and see what it's what it's all about. Um, and this is obviously what we're doing just before prep starts. You know, I want to try and get it, not get it out of my system, but so to speak, to a certain extent, just do things that um, that I might not be doing in prep. In prep, I'm gonna have a big focus on actually getting out though, and not just locking myself away all summer. Um, and just having you know black coffees and Coke Zeros and stuff. Um, but while I can still enjoy maybe a, you know a, a meal um, and not be as restricted, I'm, we're going to try and enjoy as many places as possible. So, so Blim Beach, um, let's check it out. Very nice, um, as expected. So, let's maybe check it out. Quite nice to get steps like this. After this, got like eight thousand. About halfway around the trail, um, and it's hot, but it's good. Yeah. Pick out the pace a bit now, a bit higher up on the mountain now, so yeah, pretty cool. How long was that? Okay, so the hike wrapped up just over an hour, a bit over an hour, um, and got around 8,000 steps pretty good so steps pretty much done for the day um bit of cardio you could call it so uh yeah really really nice i feel it's always really nice to kind of get in nature a bit especially after a week of just being on the phone working um nice to just get out into it because 
obviously living where I live. We're very lucky, obviously, the view that we've got is very green. It's, it's you know, there's a lot of nature there, but actually getting into it's another thing. So it's nice to uh, enjoy being out and about um, and also getting to move in a little bit after yesterday, having been just chilling on the beds by the pool. It's nice to get active. So yeah, just gonna go probably have a, maybe a coffee somewhere or something. Um, nice day.